Alright, the small strive balance patch update has just dropped, and by god, I need to talk about it. Hi, hello everybody, it's me, Golf 2 um, I just want to let you know that I'm still working on a lot of videos, and I've been demotivated recently to make content, but I have a tournament coming up, which I'm going to have to edit, and I have, you, you can apply now for the tournament, and I have um, like four different projects in the works right now, including uh, Close Range Brawlers 2 video, I hope you enjoy. Um, I think I'm gonna skip over these and get to like the real meat of the bone. Here are the game mechanics and overall changes. He adjustments to the properties of the new white wild assault, I mean wild assault mechanic added in season three as well to the briscotch in relationship to it. Hmm. Wild assault? When a white when a wild assault triggers a wall break, the opponent can now attack after the area shift. This means that, um, Wild Assault is no longer a heavy knockdown, which is pretty good, I'd say. I, I'm, I'm fine with that change. Individual adjustments to Red and White Wild Assaults. Red Wild Assault, reduced momentum and block. That's a nerf to a lot of characters' pressure, but considering uh, that was kind of needed, Red Wild Assault was kind of needed when um, White Wild Assault was at its peak. I, I, I can, I can, I can fuck with that. I can fuck with that change. Absolutely. It's only one block, so, um, Soul's, like, corner-to-corner -corner combo is still, like, viable to use. Wait, well, so it is now minus on block. Meaning it ends the player's offensive turn. Oh my goodness gracious. Golly gee willikers. Alright. I'm gonna add these two to the big list. Red Wild Assault and White Wild Assault. White Wild Assault I have been asking for a while now to get like a significant deep nerf and this doesn't make up for the war crimes that White Wild Assault caused but I'm fucking loving it. God damn. That's so good. Thank you, Daisuke. Thank you for listening, man. I've I've been waiting for this. I'm not gonna like start some like Daisuke, my baby girl type shit, but like Jesus fucking Christ, it's about time. Holy shit! I hate White Water Salt so much. Strive fucking heavyweight players are forced to play neutral now. That's crazy. God, golly. I mean, Gold Lewis can still explode you, but he isn't safe on block anymore. And then they removed, they fucking removed the guard crush too. Burst gudge, we reduced the natural gain over time as well, well as upon wall stick. Dude, that's so fucking good. That means like, boy, wild assaults will actually be a fucking resource. God, golly, dude. Oh, I'm all, I'm fucking, I'm fucking pumped by that one. Hmm. Maybe not everyone will like that one. I do. I, th I think that's a good change. Um, cancel for invincible moves. Invincible moves and counters that can be used as reversals without attention odds can no longer be Roman cancelled in any situation. This means you will always have the chance to punish them as long as you block them. And the player can no longer go for damaging combos when they hit. However, they also gained throw invincibility making them more powerful as a reversal than before. Here are some exceptions to this with counter moves not getting throw invincibilities. For characters who have an S and an HS version of their invincible moves, the HS versions will no longer have invincibility. Right. They usually didn't anyways, but <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that was addressed like a few years ago, but alright. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Properties of these moves can, such as their scaling and slowdown effect, have been adjusted in line with the rules for non-invincible moves. Overdrives can still be Roman cancelled. Okay. I... I play Soul. 
I fucking love Clean Hit Volcanic Viper. So much. I'm okay with this. I have been asking for the, a while for some of Soul's uh, combo potential to be nerfed, even as it's so fucking saucy. Uh, he was doing too much damage. I'm okay with this. I'm 100% okay with Heavy Volcanic Viper not being um, used as like a mid-combo tool. I'm okay with that. I don't mind it. It's going to take some getting used to. I might be a little bit fucking insane about this, but like I I I actually 100% think this is a good change. Uh I'm I'm mm, then again, okay, you know what? No strong opinions. I don't know how to feel, but I I think it's a good change definitely, but it is what I asked for, but like it's a monkey's paw type of thing. Like I asked Soul to be like more cool in his combos, but like more than he already is because he's one of the fucking coolest characters in the game. But like, still, I I think that um, a lot of his damage potential needed to be nerfed, and his neutral buffed. Um, but that hasn't been really reflected in uh, this patch. He hasn't had gotten his neutral buffed. He's just gotten debuffs, which. I understand he is a top tier character, but at the same time, I just wished for some neutral buff. Maybe later. Maybe when he gets his new move. <clears throat> character adjustments. Axel Lowe, Zada 1, Testament, Bedman, Johnny, and Elfelt Valentine. Notice how um, there's like a few uh, bottom... F like, like the bottom five characters are listed. Jesus Christ. Alright, damn. Um... I'm happy, I'm happy about the, uh, the, Axel Lowe, now this is a character I want to touch on, Axel Lowe is a mid-tier that I think, even though I suck at his fucking matchup so fucking bad, I think he's the coolest stoner in the game. Uh, I forgot what else I was going to say, <laughs> um, you can now go for additional damage after landing a poke if the player makes the correct decision. That is fucking cool. I think he deserved that. On grounded hit, staying SH now launches the opponent on hit, making it possible to combo to sickle flash another move. What the fuck? Oh shit! You can now go for extra damage in better situation of edge by going for standing HS instead of crouching HS when appropriate after far standing HS. What the fuck? Oh shit! Oh my god, Axel, Axel fucking Bombos got upped, man. Standing HS was like a death sentence if you previously used Axel's Bombos, but. Oh my god. Meterless sickle flash conversion is so fucking insane. What the hell? Oh my god, jumping S into fucking aerial snail? What the hell? <laughs> the projectile from charge version with seemingly now moves faster, creating opportunities to approach the opponent's situation such as widget chair or axle bomber. What the hell? I. Oh my god. I mean, he's no happy chaos, but I think, I think due to this buffing of his, 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 his combo potential, he might be the second best zoner in the game. Holy shit. Um. God, golly, dude. Oh my god. The age of Axel's coming, it's, it's fucking over. I'm gonna say those buffs were well deserved, though, because Axel players have been putting in the work for god knows how long. Definitely deserved. Chips enough. We'll get to you. Um, really rage. Is that a one? Okay, he needed this. He needed this. He can start better start his offense now after the opponent blocks from Zato or Eddie from long range. Eddie's forward movement speed is increased, making it easier for him to approach the opponent while they are blocking an attack from Zato. The down down input now functions di differently during break the wall. Moving Zato to Eddie's current position? Holy shit. 
Moving while the opponent is blocking, that's a lot. Or leap allows him to approach while in an advantageous situation? Well, when his offense is interrupted by Psychic Burst or Roman Cancel, the Eddie Gauge now starts your flushing starting from the remaining Gauge Valley at that point? Dude, they fucking fixed Zero! What? They they fixed fucking every complaint I had about Zotto and his viability. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. I am... What the fuck? Oh wait, that, that's fucking fuck. Where am I looking, dude? Jeez, fuck. Ugh, dude, it, it's like 3am, you have to forgive me. Fuck. Oh my god. That is so good. I'm happy for you, Zatomains. I see you out there, baby girl. All, like, two of you Zatomains. I'm happy for you. I see you. I hear you. I recognize you. I see you. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. That's good. That's fucking... That's fucking amazing. Um, Nagaryuki, no debuffs, except for White Wall Assault, which is, like... Uh, debuff to all heavyweights. Anji Mito. Um, nothing. Biking, um. Universal adjustments to invincible moves. Her Hiragi wasn't an invincible move. It, it, was, a, it was a parry. Why? <laughs> Fucking why? Wait, I don't understand this one. <laughs> Perry was already so shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, okay. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Maybe, maybe the biking experts, the, the the current biking players, will like. Uh, they're either dooming about it or like too happy about White Wild Assault nerfs. I, I don't know about that one, man. What the fuck? I know it's like. I know it's like frame one, but like it, it doesn't counter projectiles or anything, so it's not true in Volm. Testament. Oh, this one was well deserved. The oh, fuck, dude. I I felt so bad for Testament mains these past few patches because like White Wild Assault has made all of like the matchups that Testament is supposed to be good at fucking abysmal for Testament. Testament has been insanely power crept and earned that bottom five spot just from other characters displacing them. All right. The adjustment to blowback of ground throw adds extra advantage afterwards, allowing for more setups with um, ground projectile behind your opponent, so you can like easily uh, loop into Raven while you see after you block their wake up options, which I think is cool. That's a cool ass fucking choice. I hope that they have access to more variety in Oki's MA now. See, look, dude, even Arxis can gender testament properly. You fuckers can too. Just saying. Anyways. The succubus no longer disappears after using possession. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh god. <laughs> That's good. Oh fuck. Oh god. Wait. Oh, Testament Schmix is gonna be crazy, dude. Fuck, dude. Because if you um fake to uh if you fake possession into um crow. Oh god, dude. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, testament mix is gonna be crazy. Fuck. They can now approach using possession in situations such as after Grave Reaper S version and still incorporate the succubus. Oh my god! They fixed the fucking ways for testament to get you into stain state. There was like two. Two wait now they now they have like so many fucking mix options. Jesus Christ. The reduced recovery also makes it more effective as part of a tricky offense. Crouching has reduced knockback, crouching H has decreased attack start. Oh my god, true launchers are back for testament. Fuck. Dude. Just to hit regardless of the opponent's hurt box position. That's fucking good. Granted Grave Reaper. Increased horizontal movement after changing to succubus form. Succubus will now set be set at a farther away position. Oh god, possession succubus no longer to speak. Decreased recovery? Oh my fucking god, wait, hold on, I didn't know fucking testaments. Teleport was literally, oh my god. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. If that, if you didn't think that was fucking bonkers, just look at this. Arbiter's selling all versions of it, except...
extended homing range, it will now hit even from maximum range. What the fuck? <laughs> testament. Oh my god, testament. Oh. Oh, baby girl. I'm so... Uh, you... You deserve that. You deserve all of... All of the praise you're getting. You deserve all that. You deserve all the buffs. You deserve everything. Anything for you, my baby girl. Heart emoji. I love you, Testament. Oh my fucking god, those buffs are so goddamn deserved. Zinkisuke. Um. Uh, huh? Wait a minute. The f the follow up to Hawk Baker has has thrown Vuln. Huh? Oh, so this is like a reversal reversal now. Like, like it's it's not even just the best reversal in the game. It's the best reversal, period. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? They buffed his- They buffed Sin's pressure. What the fuck? What the fuck? No one's throwing out that in pressure already, and now, and now it's throwing Vuln? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, dude, they buffed Sin! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hawkbaker has been, like, purely used for a fucking... Like, I, I guess I guess the strings are after Hawkbaker, but, like, it has been, like, completely gone, but... What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, my God, dude. Jesus Christ. That man. Improvements to aerial nature make it easier to get in close to the opponent. That's cool. Especially with, um, Bedman's, uh, like, unique air dash mechanic. I think that'll be, like, super sick. Let's see. The additional forward movement speed of forward jumps makes it to- Wait, what? This motherfucker can leap now? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, damn. Um... The additional forward movement speed of forward jump makes it possible to jump in on the opponent from farther distances. Jumping S now has a vacuum effect. That jumping S? Hold on, wait. You're you're telling me that Ben Man can just now fucking vortex his pressure? What the fuck? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh oh god. Oh god. The horror. <laughs> Meaning Ben Man can get in close range from a single aerial hit. There are now more opportunities to start combos after mix up as jumping D launches the opponent on grounded head. Oh fuck. Forward jump increase moment distance. Why? <laughs> I I'm fine with that. Change hit effect for close standing at the slash. That triggers an aerial state when another attack next to his set duration after a hit. Farsting a decrease knockback, decrease horizontal blowback distance on aerial hit. Jumping has added a vacuum effect when coming into contact. Decrease attack start up. Why? Okay, I don't get that one. It's made a lower hitbox and hurtbox. Okay, balanced. Balanced, 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 balanced. Balanced. That is very six people. Balanced. Jumping D adjusted to launch the opponent underground hit. Dude, I I don't know, man. Batman's gonna become even more annoying, but like, he, he he deserved those buffs. I can't even I can't even like doom about that. He does he he deserved those fucking buffs. Okay, let's see up next, Johnny. Um, Johnny plays. Oh, lo and behold, you you guys are gonna be fucking happy about this one. You receive improvements to his mobility and trip pressure during footsies. Reduced recovery on his forward dash makes it easier to close in on the opponent. You fuckers who have been spouting about Johnny having no dash block, so he's a bottom five character, can now officially shut up. God damn. Oh my god. <laughs> now he's like a low mid tier or something, I don't know. Oh god. The reduced recovery on his forward dash makes it easier to close in, close in on the opponent. Grand Mist Finer, all versions, now triggers the counter effect? It, am I reading this right? Like, no, ma no matter if they're like blocking or, or attacking or not, they always trigger counter hit. Oh no, it must be like the big counter hit effect. That'll be so weird. That'll be so like weird. Like, oh my god. 
On counter hit, Granted Mistfinder K version can be now be followed up with Joker Trick and all other attacks. What? Wait, 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 wait. I gotta, I gotta check one thing. Just so I'm, just so I'm getting my bearings right. Okay, Mistfinder. Okay, that's S. Okay. Okay, okay. That's, that's, that's mid. Okay. Okay. Whew! <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> if he followed his low straight up into a Joker trick, I don't know what I would do with it. <laughs> he would somehow even get even more free wall breaks. Spanned frontal hitbox on st What? Excuse me? This move- This move did not need a hitbox upgrade! What?! <laughs> this fucking move did not need a hitbox upgrade! Orc says! What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, he has an entire stance for poking! Don't take one of his best stances and make- I mean, best fucking pokes and make it better! God, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> um... Spin in front of the box. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Increase launch height and counter hit. That's good. That's good. Deal midair. HS during vault. I think I think this is good. Um, holding HS now performs the move at the earliest time available. That is a extremely good change. That is like extremely good. I'm gonna say it right now. Um, I barely thought Johnny was a, like a bottom five character, but like I've my eyes have been opened to like how he's been heavily power crept. So I hate to say this because like some of his changes are actually like fucking weird, but like well deserved, well deserved buffs. Unironically, I believe Elfelt Valentine. One of the most annoying characters to ever fight in the game because it's always jump back projectile. Well, no more worries. They made Chain Lollipop actually viable more than it already is. Her moves are overall more viable, making it easier for her to create positive situations with Chain Lollipop. I think that's good. When the opponent blocks the beginning of Grounded Miss Charlotte, all versions, she can create distance at low risk. Jesus Christ. Miss Charlotte, out of repair, creates a better situation on hit, making it easier for close. Standing S, work here I go, meaty. Bomb bomb chocolate launches the opponent on hit, leading more easily into combos? What the fuck is bomb bomb chocolate? I've never heard of that. Is that the fucking command grab? Hold on, is that is that the fucking like like her her one command grab? Where is it? It is. What's the point of that? <laughs> <laughs> it barely ever fucking works. What's the fucking point? <laughs> what the hell? Alright, crouching P, decreased attack star. Oh god. Wait, let me just check her 2P frames right now. Sharp is 5. Oh. Oh, that's gonna become a 4 framer, I see. Okay, that's okay. Forcing us adjusted to be less affected by dash momentum. Cool! Jumping us, expand the upper hitbox and hurtbox. Good change. More 6 p more easy to combo with. Ground Miss Charlotte, extend a backward movement distance, just so that the beginning of the moves projectile properties change, decrease recovery. Okay, that's... Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say it. That's a good-ass change. They'll, um... They'll make a lot of Elfelt players start actually <laughs> using the ground. <laughs> that's a that's a good change. I'm with that. I'm with that. That makes um that makes uh like grounded footsies more viable for Elfelt. That's a good change. Good stuff. The Charlotte out of repair decreased horizontal blowback distance. So it's um. For combos, it's usable. For, for getting grabbed, it's more usable. <laughs> I see. Boom, boom, chocolate. Just to launch your opponent on grounded hit. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, wait, that's good. 
Oh god. Uh oh. That's good. Oh god, that is good. Oh. Oh shit, she can straight up uh, combo into air dust even more now. Oh god. I'm okay with that. Elfelt needed some buffs to her damage in general Loki games, so I'm okay with that. I think more reward for that risky ass move is good. Bum bum near. Standardized distance after successful throw, regardless of opponent character. Oh, that's good. So no matter the character, you're always getting a combo with this now. I did four movement before attack start. Oh god, they made it good. That's why they were talking. Forward movement before attack startup? Oh god. It's been approximately required for attack to Can they connect? Oh god, so it is usable now. Oh good god. Uh, I don't know how they did it. I do think her buffs are deserved. She was pretty horrible, but... They made her one of the most annoying characters in the game again. For better or for worse. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. This is the season of it all felt. Oh god. Jesus. Mm. Okay. And now for a character I wanted to avoid for the longest time now. It's time to talk about Potemkin. There are more opportunities now to get in range for Potemkin Buster. Because he needed that. Oh, oh my god, he needed that. Absolute, he absolutely needed that, totally. He didn't have every single way to get you into 75-25 with Potemkin Buster before. Oh, he absolutely needed that. You can go for Okizumi for more situations because his opponent can no longer tech after saying HS and hammer fall on hit. What? Huh? What the fuck? It, sorry. No longer tech after standing HS and hammer fall. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna fucking look over that one for now because Jesus fucking Christ. Heavenly Potemkin Buster now deals more guaranteed damage, making it a viable option to finish off the opponent. Holy shit. Welcome back, Spencer Arm. Jesus fucking Christ. W why? Why? The changes to the movement directed in Super Flash make it easier to grab opponents at a low height. Why did they give Potemkin roids? What the f I know that Gabriel took off his collar so now he can grow more, but Jesus fucking Christ, this is too much. Seeing HS on aerial hit, the opponent can no longer recover after late. What the fuck? Jumping D, reduce lower her. What the fuck? Dude, HPB is less fucking punishable if you guess right. Oh my god. Ground through standardized distance. Increase launch height after ground modes. Okay. Like, okay, that's good. I like that. Slide head no longer training its opponent blocking pose before the attack start up. Oh. That's... Yeah, yeah, I'm, okay, I'm cool with that. Airfall. Pokemon no cover after land. Only percent we've reduced lower range of proximity required for attack connect. Why? Adjusted the angle of the leap. Why? Adjusted the timing of the grab to be simultaneous with the leap. This makes the super flash shorter <laughs> with the immense weight. <gasps> These combined changes make it easier to grab opponents at a low altitude. Increased damage. Increased guaranteed damage rate. He can now just end combos with HPB. He- they made- they made Potemkin an easier fucking character to play. Because he absolutely needed that for some reason. What the fuck? Dude, what the fuck, dude? 
I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was that bad. White Wild Assault gets nerfed once, and then like, and then I, I, we have to die. We, we just have to be murdered. God. Fuck, dude. Something I, okay, besides like the Potemkin Doom posting, I do think all in all this is a very good balance patch and very, very cool for some aspects of the game I was previously complaining about. I'm actually looking to pick up Strive again and play it regularly and maybe even make some more videos. That's very cool. I think these are good balance changes. Something I wish they addressed was Slayer's current damage values because goddamn that fucker is like undeniably broken but otherwise you know what i'm with this one thank you dice guy thank you works this dev team this was a good one thank you very much also no questions asked that lineup is fucking impeccable i love it even though i've been saying for the longest time that i don't want like dlc characters just to be exerted characters that those were some pretty good picks. Even if I didn't like Disney in previous games, they could fix her in this one. Her design looks fucking awesome, so I am getting the season pass. Also, what the fuck? Why is Lucy from Cyberpunk there? <laughs>